When Peter Dobson sued his former contractor in small claims court, he hoped it would be a slam dunk. And at first, it was. He won the case, and he had it in black and white, a judgment from a Nova Scotia small claims court saying the contractor he'd hired to build a second-story addition on his home owed him more than $20,000 for failing to finish the job. If there could be more teeth in a court order, that definitely would be helpful because in many cases, court orders, as in my case, are totally ignored and the court order is therefore useless. Problem is, there are no enforcement agencies for small claims courts, so those who win are on their own to try and collect if the person they sued doesn't want to pay. Go Public spoke with five other people and companies who have successfully sued the same contractor. None say they've been paid the total of more than $173,000. A civil litigation lawyer, Tanya Walker, says make sure someone is able to pay before filing a lawsuit. And it may not be worth it when you do the research and realize other judgments are ahead of you, the person doesn't have assets, and so it's, a, it's important to make a, a good business decision whether or not to sue because you don't want to end up um, losing more money in the matter.